Frustrating all, the New York Knicks and Cam Reddish's representatives are seeking a trade as the New York Knicks failed to find a role for Cam Reddish in a huge contract year, which is huge for his role in the NBA moving forward, you know, finding an NBA team, seeking for a final contract, because Cam Reddish, yes, he has things that he has to get better at when it comes to his game, but he's been extremely unlucky when it's come to log jams at the position in Atlanta. You could say if the Atlanta Hawks really believed in him, though, they would have kept him. He's had an injury history as well, though. It's hard to find a role in the NBA where you can't stay healthy, but he stayed relatively healthy with the Knicks. I know he's that stretching and play a few games, but in my opinion, that didn't really affect his role. He wasn't out a crazy amount of games that it's like, oh yeah, this guy shouldn't play at all. But a report actually came out by Stefan Bondi yesterday, actually after I filmed that video and uploaded, on Cam, like, uploaded it when it came to Cam Reddish, or I filmed that video before that report came out, actually uploaded after the report came out, that Cam Reddish wasn't going to be getting minutes moving forward and that he's out of the rotation. Stephon Body's a really reliable source for the New York Knicks, but obviously they're seeking a trade, and this situation's just a total mess, you know? So, obviously there's injuries when it came to Quentin Grimes. Cam Reddish gets starts. He plays r relatively well. I'm not going to say played good or great, but he played some solid ball. He was really engaged defensively. You saw when it came to two and three position, he brought us... Good finishing around the basket, using the rim and backboard for protection, acrobatic layups, very nice body control when it came to Euro steps. He just played very smoothly out there on the floor. Yes, his shot was up and down, but I'm like, this is someone, even if his shot's not falling, he's engaged defensively. He brings his athleticism. He brings his size, which we need next to RJ Barrett. And even if he doesn't start, he could still be very solid for us as well moving forward. So it's very frustrating when when he just doesn't go on to get that many minutes when it's come to him coming back from that injury because he was still playing relatively well coming off the bench when Quentin Grimes became the starter. Maybe his defense wasn't as disciplined, but you could st still see the fire and desire in his eyes, how he still wanted to really help contribute to this basketball club. He loves basketball. He wants to find a new contract. He wants to find a home. And I, I actually believed, or some Knicks fans believed, the way he was playing and how he was actually getting consistent minutes at one point that it's like oh shit maybe we give him this contract it might not be a lot of money he's not putting up crazy statistics but he could still bring positive elements to the basketball team and i love the way he was thriving in transition as well so yeah, he's, he's coming off the bench quentin grimes is a starter but then you saw his minutes start to tail off and i'm not gonna lie maybe his game wasn't at the same really when it came to the last three or four games. So up against Detroit, played 17 minutes. I'm like, all right, that's not that bad. But then you see versus Milwaukee, only plays like 14. It's like 13 or 14 minutes. Versus Dallas, I really understood it though. Him playing eight or nine minutes. Eight, like it was eight or nine minutes. He turned the ball over a lot. He wasn't disciplined defensively. I didn't like his approach. His shot can be flat at times. But then you see him get a DMP versus Cleveland. I'm like, all right, this isn't fair because we've seen Isaiah Hornstein have stinkers. And we don't see Jericho Sims come in as the backup center or rotation as the backup center. Like when healthy, when Mitch is healthy, when Hornstein is healthy and Jericho Sims is just like, all right, Jericho Sims, you're the guy. Like it's your role for tonight to be that backup pick. So that shows there's not accountability being consistent. I know the thing with Fournier, but as of right now, the guys that are playing, you haven't seen that overall consistency when it's come to holding guys accountable. And remember, Thibodeau didn't want Cam Reddish on the start when we went on a trade for him. Remember those reports that came out? When you trade a first-round pick, when you trade Kevin Knox, who obviously isn't anything special, but it's just like when you trade assets, you still need to try to get the most out of someone. And it's frustrating that it looked like we were going to, and now he's not even in the rotation anymore. And if it was based off of that one game, him playing terrible in that one game, that is unacceptable. But now thinking about it, that the reports came out by the representatives of Cam Reddish and the New York Knicks are trying to find a trade partner, I really think we just played him to try to get his value up. We just played him to try to get his value up to trade him. I really think that might be it, but what would you really get for him? Can we find a first rounder for him? Because I'm tired of like really acquiring these picks if we don't use them to trade for a star or we, or we don't use them to trade up in the draft and get a splash talent because the New York Knicks did do that at some point. You know, no one's safe, in my opinion, when it comes to the front office. If it's Thibodeau, if it's Leon Rose, if it's Scott Perry. This team right now is completely mediocre. The Knicks need to make a splash move, or they need to pick a direction and go fully young and actually draft right for once and scout right. And I'm talking about drafting high-end, star-tier level talents. Not, I like Quickly, I like Obi, but Quickly's not a star-tier level talent. Grimes is a solid player, but he's not going to be a star one day. You know, and I like Grimes. So I think the front office is lost right now. Again, I'm not saying Cam Rush will be a future star, but he still could have been 
a nicely impactful player if we put him in the position to be successful and maybe wasn't putting up crazy stats but he also barely got the ball within the offense i understand there's negatives with his game you know sometimes like he turns the ball over and his shot selection but just to be completely out of the rotation and try to trade him now why the hell did we trade for him in the first place just yeah Thibodeau barely played him then we finally played him he's playing well hurt his shoulder you know he's playing well this season out of the rotation I know we had his struggles but like every player is gonna have struggles at some point especially when you don't give them consistent minutes and when you change the role let me know down below your thoughts peace out y'all